Okay guys, so moving on with the PPC videos, now we're gonna take a look at how to create a manual campaign which is about category targeting and filtering bad competition. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is go to Amazon and just look up for your keyword, which in my case is cowboy hat rack. And we're just gonna go here and we're gonna have, well, obviously we're gonna have the um, best results for this keyword. And we're gonna try to get as many as subcategories as possible of every single product that comes out with this keyword and all the keywords that, that you have on your listing, all the keywords that are relevant for your product. And the way we're gonna have the subcategory is we're just gonna scroll down here and here where it says the best sellers rank. We're gonna say that this one is in the home and kitchen and in the hat rack category. We're, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep that information because we're gonna need it right in a few seconds. So we're gonna name it uh, men, which stands for manual FBA 001. And I like to do filtering bad competition. So that means filter competition, or you can just do filter bad competition and um, you know, you're gonna know that this stands for filtering bad competition. So that's it. On the products, we're, we're just gonna click add in product as always. And here, it's gonna be a manual targeting campaign, okay? Here, uh, it's not gonna be a keyword targeting. We're just gonna focus, we're just gonna target on products, on ASINs, not on keywords. And the next step is you're gonna face the product targeting, okay? Uh, remember that we did individual products in the manual targeting with the entry listing. So now we're gonna go to categories because we are looking at categories. And then you're gonna click on search. And then here it's gonna ask you for a category name. But then, well, first in the custom bid, as I already mentioned, I just like to do maybe 60 cents, 70 cents. It's not gonna be a whole uh, lot of money because these campaigns are usually pretty cheap and really profitable. So that's a really good sign. So we can just put 60 cents. And on the category here, uh, we already know that it's under home and kitchen, but what we are gonna put here is hat racks. So we're gonna put hat racks and click enter. It's gonna give us the exact category and it's gonna tell us that this is this category has from 1,500 products all the way up to 2,594 products. So. It's, it, it's a lot of money there. We are living in the table if we don't perform, if we don't launch this campaign. So, well, we're gonna have a lot, code racks, pot racks, but in this case, um, a, I am selling a head rack. So that's pretty much what we're gonna choose here. Before you click add, and this is what most people do not know, okay? Before you click add, you're gonna click refine, okay? We're gonna click refine here. And then it's gonna give us um, a really user-friendly dashboard here where you can just edit this, uh, maximum, minimum, and um, prime eligible, but we, we are all prime if you're doing FBA. Most of you guys are, most of us are doing FBA, so um, that's no problem. We're, we're gonna mess with the price range. We're gonna deal with the price range and the stars rating. We're just gonna work on this too, okay? If you have a brand in mind that um, you want to campaign with, maybe if you're sure that maybe a competition like you, like this one, it says P. Aladdin. If you're sure, let's say that you would be selling uh, this product, the, the one the one I'm, I'm selling. Um, let's just imagine that you're selling this product, okay? So if you think that you can bid this guy, which is um, P, okay, I should be able to find it if I'm, at, well, okay. Well, if, it's gotta be somewhere here, but I don't know why it's not, okay. Oh, never mind. it's not for some reason. But if you have a branding mind that you may want to compete with directly, you can just put the brand here or um, you can just not put anything. I mean, it's not mandatory. Amazon doesn't require it. Amazon doesn't ask you to select a brand. So that's, that's not a big deal. So the magic of this is that we're gonna set up a price range. And what we're gonna set here is that let's pretend, let's just imagine that we're selling this at 34 Okay, so we're gonna put here that everything that's at least $40, so that means uh, $6 more, everything that's at least $40, or, or I think you can even put like 35 or maybe just $3 more. So in that case would be $37. So you can just put a minimum of $37 here. So that means that every single product under that category, under this category, the hat rack category, I am telling Amazon, hey, show my product 
and every product that's selling in this category in the product that's in the category that's relevant for me whatever is selling as a minimum of 37 dollars just show it to them here on the actual bar that you can just drag and drop uh, we're gonna put three stars so that means that everything that has zero to three stars my product is going to show right here so if we combine all these two the 37 dollars price with the three stars maximum that means that our product which is way better than these guys that are selling three dollars more than we are and they are and, and they have three stars and we have in this case 4.5 which i can tell you right now well if a product has two stars 2.5 3.5 stars that doesn't look okay. That doesn't look good on Amazon. Nobody likes to purchase three storage products. So this is a really powerful campaign that most people do not know about and can make you a lot of easy money if you just launch it. So you can just click add here and then it's gonna um, give you the option of the of the bid that we just selected that it's gonna be a custom bid of 60 cents. And you're gonna do pretty much the same thing with all the subcategories. And if we scroll down here, dynamic bid down only as always. And on the campaign name, we're just gonna put the same name as the ad group. Um, the star, it's gonna be today and end date. Uh, we're just, well, as always, no end date. So there we have it, another PPC campaign that you can launch and not many people know about.